previous exhibitions on uh, Dirk Van Erp, uh, but nothing uh, that really got into how he was interconnected with some of the other Bay Area coppersmiths. Uh, because uh, he flew, influenced almost all the, the coppersmiths that came after him here in the Bay Area. Well, I mean, Dirk Van Arp uh, really combined uh, his talents of craftsmanship and design to make the ultimate arts and crafts lamp uh, with the beautifully hand hammered uh, copper bases uh, contrasted with the mica. Uh, just it's just the quintessential arts and crafts lamp. Uh, this one dates from, uh, well actually we know rather specifically, about 1913, 1914. It's actually a design that uh, he created uh, a little bit earlier than that, maybe around uh, 1910 or so. But it's got this great spherical uh, base and the straps here go over the cap. This is uh, an earlier design. And also the, the edge is just a single ruled rim. The later lamps have a, a little bit wider, what's called a double ruled rim here, is the actual bell from the Dirk Van Erb workshop. It's the service bell. It was not only Dirk Van Erb that was making these sorts of pieces uh, uh, during the arts and crafts period. Uh, Van Erp's first child, Agatha Van Erp, was born in 1894, so she grew up uh, as a six-year-old child. Her father had started working in the shipyards making the shell casing vases, so uh, by the time she was a teenager, she was a very competent uh, metalsmith herself. And uh, in fact, this punch bowl here was made by Agatha Van Erp uh, probably in the 1940s and uh, has remained in the family. Uh, the whole time. Uh, we got this on loan from Agatha Van Erp's granddaughter. Candelabra over here is one that was made by her brother, uh, William Van Erp, uh, probably in the 1950s. It has a kind of a mid-century styling to it. And uh, besides Agatha Van Erp and William Van Erp, there were more in the Van Erp family that were making copper besides just Dirk. His nephew, August Tieselink, made wonderful hammered copper pieces and started working with the Dirk Van Erp shop in uh, 1911. This jardinier here in the showcase is a wonderful example of August Tieselink's copper work. Now, most are a very interesting pair of Harry St. John Dixon hammered brass vases made in 1920. Now, Harry St. John Dixon was the uh, first apprentice to start working with uh, Dirk Van Erp in uh, 1909. I've been involved in the antique business since I was 10 years old, growing up in San Francisco. And uh, it was just kind of interesting. I used to go, uh, you know, I'd, I'd find all these interesting things at garage sales. And there was an estate sale just down the street from me that I got invited to. And there was all kinds of art pottery and copper there. And that's where I found my first piece of Dirk Van Erp copper at the estate sale just down the street from where I grew up.